Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Time to catch up again with McKendree football coach Mike Babcock and coach. Preseason camp is officially in the rearview mirror. Bearcats wrapped up the preseason with a scrimmage this past Saturday night. Give me your general impressions of what went on at Lehman Field on Saturday. Uh, a lot of good. Uh, a couple things we need to continue to work on. You know, obviously we still have about two weeks left of, uh, of preseason. You know, before our first game. So, but you know, you definitely saw some some big plays on both sides of the ball. Uh, saw some young guys really kind of step into some leadership roles and some starting roles. Uh, some good stuff on special teams. So overall, I thought it was a good night for us. You talk about the young guys jumping in, and obviously a lot of first-year players are going to be called upon probably more frequently than in years past. Talk about those young guys and what you saw out of them that made it so impressive. Uh, you know, it's not just the true freshmen, but even you know some of the um, you know redshirt freshmen that are starting to actually get playing time. You know, showing up. You know, there's very very few guys on offense uh, that started with the ones that were starters last year, just because of. Um, you know, a lot of guys graduating. There was one or two guys that were a little banged up. We kind of held them out. So, um, you know, but a lot of guys got some, you know, good effort. Uh, you know, we had some really good wide receivers out there with, you know, Tyler Seaver, Jeremiah Harris, Ron Welch, you know, all redshirt freshmen this year. Um, you know, I, I thought did a, did a nice job. Um, you know, had some young running backs uh, as well. Had a couple freshmen going in with the offensive line. Um, you know, even a, a guy like Caleb Fisher, I thought, did a nice job offensively, kind of coming in here and, and doing a couple things. So, offensively, some of those young guys I think are pretty good. And then, even defensively, um, you know, we've got one or two D linemen, you know, even true freshmen, I think, that have a, a chance to play. Um, in the back half, a guy like Drew Crooks, uh, you know, as a freshman, I thought he had a good scrimmage as well. And, um, you know, from there on out, just kind of just cleaning things up, you know, with it. So, but. Again, really like where this, these young guys are and where they can go. And obviously a little bit more of a veteran look on defense with eight starters returning from last year. Talk about your veteran leadership and how those guys led the young players through preseason camp. Well, the good thing is our, our, our big kind of focus this year is the process, you know, the, just kind of the details, the standard of, you know, how we want to have McKinsey football, basically the, the blue-collar mentality, running hard, running fast, doesn't matter how athletic you are. Um, what matters is you know what you do between the lines and are you going full speed. So the the good thing is is that's continued on from the off season, from summer now into camp. You know that really hasn't changed, and especially on defense with older guys. Um, you know I think they were disappointed last year on, on how they kind of performed, and I think they're kind of up to the challenge of of getting better and, and making a statement this year. What was your message to the team after the scrimmage? Keep working. Uh, you know I, I said it wasn't perfect. Uh, you know, I'm always the guy that's looking for perfection. I may never attain it, you know, but I'm always, you know, um, grabbing it, okay, going after it. And so, uh, you know, cleaning up any kind of turnovers that the offensive has, you know, any anytime you end up going a wrong way or making a wrong block or doing something like that, you know, those are the big things offensively that I look at. Um, and we have a lot of young guys. They still have work, but those are kind of the things. And then defensively, um, making tackles in space, you know, big plays, eliminating the big plays. Uh, you know, you might stop them, you know, two plays in a row for a minus yard line. But if, you know, you give up a long touchdown afterwards, that negates anything that you've done before. So keep playing, keep hustling. Two more weeks, let's go. Coach, it's a little bit different situation this year, the way the schedule falls usually. Classes have just started, so that's usually the first game week. The way the schedule falls this year, you have an extra week to prepare. Talk about getting in that regular routine and how this could help that Bearcat team as they head into the season opener on September 7th. Well, yeah, there's always a um, there's always a change up when school starts. Uh, you know, we had one of our first practices today. I gave them yesterday off, being the first day of class, gave them off so that they could handle their academics, and you could see a little bit of that. Um, trying to balance. My message today was about balancing, being able to balance academics with athletics and coming in here and being full go when it's time to do football, just like when it's time to do academics, being there in class and doing everything uh, that needs to be done. And so you could see there's a couple guys that were not swimming, but just, okay, just a bonehead play or bonehead something or whatever that's not like them. So we got to find a way to get back in the groove. And the nice thing is it's not that I have a game on Saturday and I'm really worried about getting back into the groove. I now have a full week and a half, you know, before we kick it off on the 7th. So 
we still got a little time. We're still kind of in camp mode uh, a little bit before we start tightening the screws for game week. So, you know, hopefully we can finish out this week on a high note. And it has to help your first opponent this year as a team you've already played in the past, Northern Michigan, a team that came here last year. So you're somewhat familiar with them, and it gives you that nice little cushion, especially going into the first week of regular practice. Absolutely. You know, they're a tough football team. I mean, it came down to the wire last year against them. Uh, you know, they have a new offensive staff, new offensive coordinator. Um, you know, so they might be tweaking things. And, and every game, every first game is kind of a, all right, what is this team going to be? Are they going to be a little bit different than they were last year? Um, so all you can rely on is kind of those details, those little things of running what you, you know, are going to hang your hat on, running it to perfection uh, and being able to adjust to anything that the other team may throw because you don't really have a lot of video to, to compare for the first game. So, but um, I know the guys are excited to kind of get it going and just start the season next week, uh, especially with the long road trip. Um, you know, hopefully the guys are, are ready for it. Coach, thanks for taking time to catch up with us, and we'll talk to you soon for our 2019 season preview. Appreciate it. Don't forget you can follow McKendry Football as well as our other programs online at mckbearcats.com.